tanks and soldiers outside the presidential palace and central bank. It's been a tense 24 hours, not only for the besieged president, Mark Ravlona-Manana, but for the people of the city of Antananarivo. On Monday, up to 100 soldiers seized government buildings after the traditionally neutral army sided with opposition leader Andre Rajalina. His stance now is that he has a mandate to lead a transitional government. The president is vowing to fight to the death. Weeks of opposition protests and turmoil on the Indian Ocean island have killed more than 135 people, crippled tourism and left the president's grip on power extremely tenuous. There is a very big gap between the rich and the poor, and the government of Ravalanana is not doing enough about it. That's the reason why people are protesting, and the army is taking its responsibility. Rajalina, a 34-year-old former disc jockey and sacked mayor, thinks the president is a dictator running Madagascar like a private firm. The country is like in war now. This has never happened in Madagascar. The population is very anxious. The president is holed up in another presidential palace on the outskirts of the capital, with supporters forming a human shield on roads outside. He has offered a referendum and says he will not leave by non-democratic means. Nina Dawn, Reuters.